Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a three card spread for the zodiac sign of Taurus for the month of August. You know, I just did my Aries one and I had the exact same two cards but only in a different position, so I'm seeing a similarity here. Okay, I'll explain that here in a minute. Um, for the first card, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. This when when this card is in the upright, it usually means um, like a confirmity, like something is confirming, maybe a judge or something. But in the reverse, it's something totally different. Um, you could be uh, dealing with the same sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or I'm also seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, the reason I say that is because this card next to you is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and I'm seeing a person that you could be dealing with that is not. Um, he's kind of like a rebel or someone that kind of goes to the beat of their own drum. Someone that doesn't follow rules. It could be you that's doing that or someone that you know is doing that. Um, it could be someone at your job that's um, just like acting up, not following rules that you're tired of dealing with, uh, spreading gossip and lies about you. Um, also, I'm saying the authority figures might not be fair with you. Um, like you've gone and complained about a certain person, but the authority figures aren't listening. They're they're just not paying attention to what you're saying, or maybe don't believe you. Um, so I'm gonna get back to that card in a minute, because the next one is the Five of Swords. Now this is a three-party situation. There's three people here, and you see how he's this person here's got the upper hand, but this person here is sneaky. He's stealing away their energy and their swords. So when you get this card here, you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and um, seeing that this person is either gossiping about you, torturing you some kind of way. It could be in a relationship. There could have been a third-party situation that you find out about or you're going to find out about, you know about, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, I'm seeing. Uh, or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But... Um, you're not happy about this. You're you're having like real stormy feelings on the inside about it. You're you not not sure which way to turn because this person is either lying to you and you know they're lying to you, um, spreading gossip about you. Um, this person could be cheating on you and you know about it. You're you're trying to find out about it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of um, like third party situations here. There could be some type of breakup. I'm seeing breakup, um, I'm seeing selfishness, a lot of this person that you're dealing with is real selfish and is not really listening to you, um, he's applying, he or she are like using a lot of uh, unfair force is what I'm saying, it could be at the job or your relationship, they're being forceful and it's unfair, it, it's not something that you're used to. Um, I'm also seeing legal complications, like some of you might be having a court case coming up, some type of legal complication, um, and it's stealing away your energy. You're not feeling all that great because of, of what's happening. Um, this person is real cunning and, and sly, so you got to be careful with this person. This person can also talk people into things, so be careful with that. Um, you're just plain tired of this person. Uh, they're manipulative. They, they have like a manipulative way about them that you, you're having trouble dealing with. It could be your relationship or someone at your job. I'm still seeing both of those. Um, and I'm seeing that this person also has a bad reputation, a very destructive behavior. Okay, so for the next one, I'm seeing... I'm going to lay this card down. So for the next one, I'm seeing the um, Eight of Cups in the Reverse. Okay, when it's in the upright position, this person is moving away all from all this condition here. So it looks like that you're going to be moving away too. You're going to be moving away from, every, once you find out the truth about stuff, you're going to be moving away and just get rid of all that unnecessary people in your life, unnecessary workplace. But don't do it until after August 2nd because we're still in Mercury Retrograde. Um, if you're in an abusive relationship, by all means, get away from that. You know, you don't want to get hurt in any form or way, but I see you moving away from it, and you are going to move away from it in the month of August, and you're going to get your energy back, you're going to return to happier times, once you've passed that phase, I see you returning back to happier times, you want you want to get back into the world, you want a better job, a higher, you're going to move into a higher career, maybe get a better job position, um, I'm also seeing... Um, 
maybe a new relationship might be coming in. Don't move into it too fast because you're just getting out of Mercury retrograde and you got to wait for that phase to completely be over with. It, Mercury goes direct on August 2nd, but you still have the shadow phase, which lasts two weeks and still things still can happen during that shadow phase. So, you know, wait for that phase to be over and then you can move with anything you want to. You're going to get your energy back, your trust back. Um, but you got to get rid of this old energy. Whoever this person is in the Five of Swords, they're, they're a terrible person. They're not good. I see them being real sneaky, cheating, lying. Um, they're being deceptive. They're, they're manipulating you. Don't let anyone manipulate you out of money or uh, making you think that they're one way when they're really not, when they're another way, and you know it. You know it deep down inside that that's how they are, and you just want to get away from that. You might be meeting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's going to lead you in a better direction and a better relationship, or you might be getting a job offer with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so move towards that in the month of August. You know, get away from the bad energy. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to be happier in the month of August once you get away from those situations. Um, uh, some I might be seeing I see in a divorce with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some of you might be breaking up with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius or getting a divorce from a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius and just plain leaving that whole situation behind. Um, once you get out of it, don't go back to it. I see that someone might try to convince you to come back, but don't do that. Okay, because once a liar, always a liar. Once a cheater, always a cheater is what I say. I don't, I don't believe that people that cheat change that often. I mean, maybe once in a while people learn their lesson, but I look at it like this. If someone truly, truly loves you and cares about your feelings, they're not going to cheat in the beginning. They're not going to say, oh, I made a mistake. I cheated. No. Okay, because infidelity is hard to forgive. You know, once a person gives themselves to somebody else through infidelity, that's hard to forgive. I don't forgive that, okay? I might forgive other mistakes, but infidelity, like if my partner sleeps with someone else, I'm not going to forgive that. No, I'm going to move on and find someone that can better be faithful to me. And that's what you need to do too, because I'm seeing someone that's very unfaithful, cheating, lying, and they're trying to convince you otherwise. They're trying to make you think that what you already know is true isn't okay you already know what's going on but you get confused because this person is very slick and very cunning and they're trying to convince you otherwise and they make you see things their way when they when you really know deep down inside that they are cheating that they are a certain way you know go with your first mind and that's what you think and you know inside your heart you know don't listen to this person because they they will try to convince you as much as possible, that they're not cheating, that they're not lying, when in fact they really are, because it's clearly here in this card, okay, so, yeah, it's better to move away from that type of energy, you know, don't hang on to any energy that's bad too long, because the longer you stay in it, the worse it becomes, and then it's harder to get out of, if you need some type of help, um, like some type of counseling, you can seek that, you know, you can always talk to your if you're, a, if you're a younger person, talk to your teacher, your counselor, your brothers and sisters, your family member. You can always go to a counseling center, you know, and talk to someone from there. Uh, but there's always someone to talk to your best friend. You know, you can always seek some type of help. If you're being uh, physically abused, you know, seek help from that too. Call the police or whatever it is that you need to do. But don't take any type of abuse. You don't need that type of abuse in your life because there's always something better out there once you shut a door then the next one opens the universe is waiting to give you something good but you got to shut that door on that old energy in order for the universe to give you something new okay so that's what i'm seeing for you for the month of august and and i also see you traveling maybe in the month of August with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But most definitely there is a new love interest coming in for you with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is what I'm seeing. And it's going to lead to passion. And it's going to lead to a new adventure that's going to end up in bliss. It's going to end up happy. And, and you're going to enjoy it more than what you were with this person here. Okay. So that is your message for all Taurus um, for the month of August. Don't forget, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with you, and if it does, great. If it doesn't, come back for another reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification button so you can know when I upload a video. 
uh, and share with your friends. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.